Hello. It's a pleasure to introduce uh, how to open a new laptop, absolutely brand new laptop. This is Acer 5. This is Acer 5 uh, uh, touchscreen and uh, the version is Aspire V5 and uh, so to say this is a very 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 pretty big unit which is actually 15.4 uh, um, uh, inches uh, uh, diagonal and uh, what I am going to show is that how to add uh, about uh, 8 GB memory into that if it has got already only 8 GB and we have to get the appropriate uh, the uh, memory and uh, then we have to get ready and how do we get actually you know you can look into the uh, uh, Google and then find out which are the manufacturers for that and what quality you want what access time you want in my case I have gone for this one this is actually a, a Zeppelin 8 GB memory DDR3 and the specifications are 8 GB 1333 uh, 5128 ULCL9 this will be suitably fitting into my laptop so I have opted for that this is actually the the memory package you can open it by opening the opening the uh, the yellow label here open it and then you will be able to access it inside and uh, this is what uh, it is probably this is not the right time we will be uh, opening the uh, uh, it looks like this see like that so like that and uh, I'm closing it back so that we can take it later so that dust will not get in. Well, that's the, that's the point uh, where uh, we are going to stop uh, for a minute and then uh, I, I'm going to focus on the laptop. Laptop as such, you, you, now you are seeing the laptop. It has got, uh, let's, let's say that, you know, before starting, we, we must have some set of tools like an array of uh, array of uh, the screwdrivers which some of them are actually the stars type of different gauges and then uh, screw strength and then uh, you must have a flexible one so that if a narrow one comes you will be able to programmably take it out and you have the tools uh, readily available in the market which is actually pretty cheap and uh, different varieties of it uh, according to your requirement you will be able to pick up if you are so much interested in uh, doing uh, less work you can have this um, uh, probably uh, a drive which you can put it inside and then you can you can uh, turn it back or uh, you can drive it in if you are not so very cautious they are over driving and then maybe exerting excessive pressure over the uh, components of it uh, can create problem and the load of this weight of this is also pretty high so please be careful to use it if you are skilled enough to drive it in start stop and then uh, keep the alignment perfect so you can continue to use it in our case probably you know this is actually a, uh, a preliminary uh, uh, set of show for the, those who are novice I may not use that drive and then uh, take it out but I will show with my hand how to open uh, the um, different types of uh, screws first and then how to open the uh, l uh, the bottom portion and then how to take it out so what what happens is that you know you you invert the uh, the laptop you will be seeing an array of um, array of holes here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like this if you count you will be getting about 15 or 16 holes which each one of them you need to open so that you know you will be able to take this out so with uh, that introduction I am actually trying to open one of them I will take a small screwdriver I am putting it here and then driving it back okay and uh, at this point I will be showing that you know how big the uh, screw is and uh, this is actually the screw you will be getting a screw of this size 
and uh, probably you know like this you have to repeat it at all the places after uh, taking out each one of them you can definitely use a magnet too like this so after driving it out you will be getting actually uh, the screws which are loose you will be able to pluck it up up and down simply like this okay you will be able to get it over this and then put it back into the uh, uh, the tray which uh, you have here this is the tray you have here and uh, in the tray you be, we are putting this back and now we are going to open the uh, open the lid of this how do we open we have to be very very careful and we have to get this done and uh, like this keep it there properly keep it there and then we open here using a bigger one so that I get uh, much higher width to lift Well, it's a, a press fit so that you know when you are opening please be careful that again you are not fix, fixing it back now here it comes the whole thing is out this is the back of it. You will be able to replace the battery. You will be able to uh, change the change the uh, memory, change the hard disk. You can put an SSD here. Anything of that. This is the modern technology. And um, well, uh, this uh, those who are actually electronics engineers or computer engineers, they will be able to do by themselves. This is a good focusing over the layout you are seeing this is the layout into which you will be able to identify different things and we are going for the memory and here you have got the speakers you have the speakers here these are the speakers and uh, this is the small hard drive for one terabyte and you have the battery components here and uh, you see this uh, lithium ion and then you have the memory components here we are going to mount the memory somewhere here it's going to be and uh, different types of fans and then the motherboard it, it's a it's a fantastic uh, uh, assembly of the technology i hope by uh, another uh, 20 years this will be coming down to a small size of this well that's the first phase of it yes now uh, uh, we have the memory ready here and we are going to take the memory here actually this is the close-up look of the memory and it looks like this this is about uh, 8 GB wonderful and we are taking the memory here and we have to align it properly so there is an alignment required which I will be able to zoom it up now Yes, and now we are uh, going to insert this here. This is how it is inserted. This is the inserted look. How it is going to be is shown. Yeah. 
it's actually closely uh, seen it is getting inserted there and we are going to trace it in such a way that uh, it will be clicked in and it will be uh, plugged in this is how it is going to be I'm just going to press it there and then I will be pushing it down it is already clicked in and using this now the whole thing is pack the back it is time for us to put the lid back take the lid and you remember this lid so it has to be correctly positioned the back portions going at the back and the front portions coming into the uh, front and then do a general alignment in the beginning this is the general alignment what we can do and we have here two clips holding so that those clips must be put from the back so that it becomes uh, good so now it is positioned at the back and I'm going to put it at the front too I'm going to slightly press it press it press it press it so I'm going to put the screws back it's a pretty easy job and you have to put the first one here and take your uh, screwdriver and then drive it in drive it in this is how it is getting done and the second one you take maybe anywhere you like put the second one here and then drive it in and here goes the last one I'm putting it at the front where the speakers are there. Little care has to be taken such that uh, heavy pressure is not given at the front. And the computer is now ready. We have put everything back. See, look at that. Okay, that's how it is. There it ends. Hello, uh, the audience. Thank you very much for listening. This was a wonderful time with you. I have just op uh, shown that how to open a brand new laptop or the uh, the uh, slimline ultra slim uh, notebook computer, and then uh, it has got actually the features are i7 and uh, large amount of memory. We want to add the 8 GB DDR3 RAM to that and it is a fairly big one you can see that this is about 15.4 uh, inch a sensitive uh, touch screen type of system and uh, but we have seen that it's a systematic assembly we first removed the screws and then uh, one by one and then kept it safe and later we put the uh, uh, took the lid off very carefully and the lid i mean actually the, the bottom portion of it and then we have removed, we have identified the battery component, we have identified the, uh, the hard disk component, and we have identified the DDR3 assembly, and then we have identified where we can insert. We took the uh, 8GB RAM DDR3, and then we have uh, located the place, we have inserted there, locked it safely, and then we have put the lids back, and put all the screws, and then we closed it. The computer is now ready to work. Thank you very much for uh, listening and I hope you enjoy. You can also make a small adventure to open up and then do it provided the basic information about computer engineering or basic information about uh, the components inside a laptop is known to you. I hope you will definitely enjoy this. Thank you very much for listening. Bye. This is Dr. Nair.